virus is spreading rapidly in some Colorado jails and prisons. That includes the federal prison, which has several facilities in Colorado. Guards at the Federal Correctional Institution in Englewood tell us not enough is being done to protect them from the illness. Rick Salinger reports on their concerns tonight. Behind these walls, there are dangerous criminals and a dangerous virus. Those who work here say they are at risk entering each day without any COVID screening. Their members, their families, um, they're worried about bringing a home into their, their houses, into the community, their kids' schools. James Zimmerman is head of the union that represents the corrections officers. He says COVID impacted 99% of the inmates the first time around, and now it's back. Most of the staff and prisoners are vaccinated, and they are under orders to wear masks. When you have people in a, a community that's not in there for following the rules, many of them don't wear it, and that creates a burden on itself where uh, inmates might, you might not catch the inmates um, wearing their mask all the time. In part because of the virus, guard staffing is at 65% of normal strength with non-guards filling in, according to the union. A form of lockdown called modified operations has been in place, but is due to be lifted next week without testing. It feels like it's we're just a tinderbox waiting to explode again. He says the lack of testing and limited isolation of inmates with symptoms have made this place even more dangerous than normal. We asked the warden's office about the complaints and were told it will respond, but not on this day. Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Now, as soon as the warden does respond, you'll see it right here on CBSDenver.com.